Hi, everybody. My name is Peter, and thanks for joining me at Our Worship Sound, where we are working to make worship keyboard technique and technology easier. I think it's so important as a keyboard player to have the right sounds to fit different moments. And a lot of times in different in one song, even there, you need different sounds or different parts of a song. So you can match the parts that build up in dynamics and then come back down when you need to. And so I want to talk you through how I typically put um, so, uh, sounds together for that purpose. We're going to use main stage. And uh, specifically, I'm going to um, go through um, the sounds that I set up for Endless Alleluia. So if you have these patches, you can recreate them on your own. I'm going to be drawing from a couple of collections that I've made available called Core Sounds and then Synth Layers for Piano 2. Um, so if you're interested in checking those out, I'll put the links to that as well. Um, but we're going to start with the blank template here. And uh, then I'm going to go to uh, my library and pull in uh, piano from Core Sounds. I'm going to use the eighth note delay. And all these uh, patches are drawing from um, sounds that come from uh, main stage itself. And just using the built-in instruments, is, we're not talking about anything third party. This is all um, stuff that comes with main stage. Um, so from Core Sounds, uh, uh, if you have that collection from Our Worship Sound, you can put that in there. And then I'm also going to grab something called a Rhodes uh, Delay Layer, which is kind of a cool thing. So, so far we have piano, and then this Rhodes Delay sound. Uh, real quick, the way I have these set up in my library um, is I make these uh, assignments here. So the first knob on here, which corresponds to the first knob on my hardware, is going to control volume. We can just hear how that affects piano. And then uh, I also have an effects, a delay effect set up on this knob as well. So you can hear that delay effect coming in. Um, this is not going to be set up. I don't want to conflict it when I go to combine them later. So I'm going to delete that. Um, and then I'm going to pull in a couple of other sounds from Synth Layers 2. So first of all, a pad. I'm going to use Pad Angly, which I use a lot. I'm going to move that up. For a bright layer, we're going to use um, this one, hi -Z. And for an arpeggiated sound, we're going to use Dropsy. Goofy names, but... There we go. And then uh, I'm going to use one more patch that's from the built-in library um, for a base layer. I'm going to add a new patch there. And there we see that. I'm going to go into patch library, instrument, orchestral, strings, and I'm going to use the basses patch. I'm going to make a couple of changes to this one. Uh, first of all, I'm going to change the output so it goes to my recording software. And then I'm going to work with the EQ here a little bit. I'm going to drop this down to the high shelf to about 800 and lower it quite a bit because this sound can get a little bit growly if you don't kind of tame the top end a little bit. Also, I'm going to adjust the layers that only plays on low notes. I'm going to click high key and play that B. And now it will only play up to that B and no higher. So that's the limit of that layer. Let me go ahead and save this. Okay, now I'm going to combine these in a certain way, and then I'm going to build uh, the dynamics layers. So let's take these sounds, and I'm going to combine them into a single patch. So I'm going to go up here to the actions list and select new patch from selected patches. I'm going to retitle this endless loud. And we're going to set this up and kind of set the volumes for all the loudest levels. Then I can get rid of these individual patches because we have all the different channel strips in this one patch now. So they'll play all at the same time. Let me change the tempo. Okay. Now I've exported these patches from my library. Or some, in some cases, like the synth layers, they're already built in with these certain mappings. So I can lower the arpeggiated sound this way. And lower that uh, high sound. This I'm going to bring up manually because it's pretty much going to stay there. And the bass sound. So you got a lot of things going on there, which is going to add a lot of dynamics to the, the more dynamic parts of the song. Okay. So then what we're going to do. Um, is since the pad and the piano are going to stay pretty much consistent through the whole thing, 
we don't need to change those every time we change patches. So even though we're going to have multiple patches through this, these are going to stay the same. And so it makes it for a little bit smoother patch changes sometimes if we go ahead and create these at what we call the set level. So first of all, I'm going to create a set from this one patch. So I'm going to come here, new set from selection, and now it puts it in a folder, which is called a set. I'm going to retitle this endless alleluia. Okay. And at this folder level, you see we have no channel strips, but I'm going to add in these piano, the piano channel strip and the pad channel strip. Okay, so now you see those showing up here. And when I click on this, you see not only the patches that we had before, but now you also see the piano and the pad layer. Okay, but there's one problem that we can create sometimes with this. And if you watch the, the volumes on here, you see that we're not getting any sound out of the roads or the bases. And that's because when you have um, sounds at the set level, sometimes it can override the ranges of the patch or the channels in the patches. So what we need to do is click each individual channel strip coming here to where the uh, where it says override parent ranges and we need to switch that to add. So now the roads delay will be added to the other layers that are there. And we can see that like for this one, it already says that um, same for that basis. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, so now we should hear all the sounds when we play. Them. So if this is pretty close for a high part of the song. Pretty close. Okay, so I'm going to click Save on that. And now I'm going to duplicate this loud to create different um, dynamics levels. So I'm going to retitle this End. And this is kind of, it could be for the bridge, it could be the end of the song, it could be kind of whatever I need it to be for the, for the given song. But I'm going to take the the high is way down. I'm going to take the arpeggio almost all the way out. I'm going to lower this. Actually, I'm going to keep this up a little bit. And then basses, I'm going to lower that a little bit. So now we have something that... Something that will add some uh, color at the end of the song. I'm going to come back up here to loud, duplicate it again. And now I'm going to change this to more of a medium setting. Okay. So that'll be just above the kind of the basic layer, which we're going to create now. So let me duplicate medium, set this to soft, and I'm going to get rid of the high layer and the arpeggiated letter, layer. And we're left with, oh, and I'm actually going to get rid of the base layer too for the soft parts. Okay. And that's how I put together the different um, dynamic layers. Um, I do also like to map these to different tracks. If I'm running tracks from Ableton, I can set it so that when I switch different loops in Ableton, it will also switch to these patches. Uh, for now, let me give you an example of how I can go through these and you hear the dynamics changes and how it builds up. Here's the medium. I need to change the tempo a little bit. I'd probably go back and make some adjustments to make this, maybe some more gradual changes. It was pretty dramatic going from medium to loud, but that's the basic framework. Um, and then once I've got this, I save this, I export it um, using Command E or this um, save as set, and then I can send that out as endless hallelujah. Save it in my library. Then the next time I do that song, I just import that set into my concert and I'm ready to go. So um, again, super important to have sounds that are going to build 
uh, and rise and fall with the, the different dynamics in your songs. And you can kind of help to, to create that opportunity as a keyboard player. And so, uh, again, these patches are from two different collections that I have available called Core Sounds and Synth Layers for Piano 2. And you can check those out at OurWorshipSound.com. And uh, if you have any questions about how I put sounds together or different options for doing stuff like this, let me know. And uh, we'll try to get it, uh, try to get back to you. Or you can leave a comment below or um, be sure to subscribe for notifications on future videos as they come out. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon.